Welcome to another video by the Maria Dibi Foundation. My name is Kai Arne, and today's topic is about how we are coping with the special situation we are in and what we're doing to help the community of MariaDB users and the general public. Now, why would you be interested in what we are doing to cope? Well, my hope is that some of our thinking may be applicable to your situation as well. That said, I am aware that we are all facing slightly different issues and we haven't faced a pandemic before either. Personally, I've been now locked down for a bit over three weeks. And as the lockdown started, I wrote an email to the employees of the Maria DB Foundation on how Corona affects our organization, on how we sustain life during Corona and how we best prepare for life after Corona. The email was based on contemplating what makes sense or more specifically what others have thought before that can be applied now. My choice of role models boiled down to four persons. Two Finnish presidents. I am originally from Finland. One German chancellor. I've lived the past soon 20 years in Germany and one ancient Greek philosopher. This might be my first pandemic, but humanity has definitely faced adversities before. So first in line, Juho Kusti Paasikivi, the president of Finland from the end of World War II until 1956. He stated that the foundation for all wisdom is to recognize facts. Now, facts not being available now, we will have to make do with reasonable assumptions. The best scientists estimate that 60 to 70 percent of us will catch Corona within the next two years. And even if only 80 percent of us have only mild symptoms and most of the rest survive, I think Parsikivi would classify this as very bad news. For many, both young and old, the secondary effects of the lockdown has even more serious repercussions than the corona itself. So this all boils down to the future being very uncertain. It's always uncertain, but I don't think I've ever uh, been this in these uncertain times during my life. Second in line, Angela Merkel, the current German Chancellor. Her actions are based on thinking from the end. She deducts the next step through reasoning backwards from the end state. Now with Corona, the end state after the pandemic is that life will go on. And the mission of our organization uh, is fulfilling now will remain purposeful, even if we may need to tackle somewhat different challenges. In the case of Maria DB server, cost cutting and a reduction of dependence on scarce resources are topics we will return to in later videos. Third in line, Sauli Niinista, the current Finnish, Finnish president. To complement the concept of social distancing that causes most of the current constraints that we live under, he has devised the concept of emotional closeness. What a great concept! Through globalization there is often a long physical distance to those emotionally close to us. Fourth and last, Zeno of Sitium, and bear with me, I don't know how to pronounce that guy's name either in Greek or in English. Anyway, he's an ancient Greek philosopher that uh, founded Stoicism. I think Stoicism as such is the best philosophy to apply when dealing with Corona. 
Fix what you can influence, live with what you cannot, is one basic Stoic tenet, but by no means the only one applicable right now. Reading up on how Stoics face adverse times might be more demanding than watching cat videos or pranks on YouTube, but it can also lead to somewhat deeper insights. Then my email goes on to deal with the concrete measures we are taking to ensure our financial survival, as well as our emotional survival, something we address virtually with tools like WhatsApp, Zulip, Zoom, Slack, quite like everybody else, and how we adapt our goals while we are living under the const corona constraints. My personal conclusion from that for everyone, it's wise to prepare for life after this. Sooner or later, we will start rebuilding a society which after Corona won't be quite like the one we know today, but it will be worth living in. Until then, we should minimize suffering, both physical and emotional suffering. First, apply your own oxygen mask, then help others. This is relevant in all our roles both professional and private. In a year, resources need to be in as good a shape as possible. This applies above all to the workforce, which is to rebuild society. Until then, uh, gross national products will inevitably shrink by tens of percentage points. But one beautiful day, we will again need hotels and airlines restaurants and conference venues, swimming halls and sports arenas. Then infrastructure and personnel must remain somehow having hibernated until then. I am asking myself what a simple blogger like myself can do to contribute as a blogger and now vlogger. Not much. Now, people like me often having opinions outside my area of expertise had better just shut up and listen to the experts. And not just listen to virologists and experts on pandemics. There are other very relevant experts to listen to, social workers, psychologists, on to experts on macroeconomics. But there is one thing that I dare express my opinion on, and that is media habits. Those who today see a need to share pictures of empty shelves with no pizza, no pasta, no toilet paper, what will they share in a month? The ambulance that picked up the third neighbor or pictures from the intensive care unit? Spoiler alert, lots of horrible things will happen the world over. Internet, especially Facebook, can spread reality horror um, of various degrees of severity. I'm not even talking about fake news, but uh, correct news as uh, when it comes to content. Uh, they will have high sensation value, but their effect on morale is devastating. For many months ahead, I think there will always be someplace suffering really badly. If not right in your own city or country, then somewhere else physically close or emotionally close enough for you to care. My appeal, hands off reality horror. Don't watch it. And above all, don't spread it. Instead, Share some good news, even if it may seem insignificant. And why not future dreams about life after this? Hashtag after Corona. And perhaps include a picture. Myself, I will travel to Finland and go kayaking in the archipelago sea.